Yo, YouTube, what's going on? You already know who it is, your boy Crane. In today's Road Company video, I wanted to start a new series, okay? It's something I kind of touched on, I want to say, maybe a few months back, around the time The Fixer dropped, right? And I put up a video basically saying Phantom is useless now. And it was a comparison between The Fixer and Phantom. I mean, fast forward to now, it's almost like The Fixer's useless. I mean, he's not, he's still viable, but rocking out with Tear in him is like, nah. Now, you know what I'm saying? I would say that where the fixer was and where Phantom was, those playing grounds have definitely evened out. If not, Phantom's better than fixer now. Okay, this video isn't about either one of them. Okay, today we are talking about Vi versus Trench. And I will preface this by saying there might be a little bit of bias towards Vi in this video. I will let you guys know that. And if there is some bias, <laughs> call me out on it. Call me out on it because I'm a Vi man. Okay, I'm a Vi main and I rarely have played with Trench, but I have played a lot with people that main Trench. I've watched a lot of Trench gameplay from professional players and things like that. So I have a good understanding of Trench, okay? And also, I want to let you guys know this video isn't necessarily pitting them against each other. Which one is better than the next? Pretty much what I want to do is I'm just trying to make you more aware of what character is what in comparison. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this clears up the way you wanna go. Maybe you're deciding if you wanna buy Vi or if you just wanna rock out with Trench because he's a default character, I believe. I'm not quite sure, but I believe he's a default character, you know? Maybe this clears up that picture, okay? So rant over, I'm gonna go ahead and dive into things. The first thing I wanna do is showcase their kits, okay? Now you might see my eyes drift this way as to my other monitor is this way, okay? Let's go over their kits first and foremost. We're gonna talk about their traits, all right? Vi, Vi has the passive ability Leeching Poison, which reduces the maximum health of enemies gradually, and it increases your maximum health up to a cap of 25. Does not work with Dahlia's Link, by the way, okay? And then her actual ability is the Vile Poison, okay? She creates a cluster of poison pools that reduce enemies' maximum health by two. And it's like, t -t 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 -t, right? So you can chip away at health really quick. Trench. Trench has the passive ability gadget up, okay? He can carry an additional gadget, all right? So if you are used to carrying two grenades, you can carry three, right? Well, in Trench's case, he can carry, I think, three tear gas grenades. He can carry, I think, three trophy systems. Not 100% sure on that, but yeah, yeah. I believe he can stack up to three, pretty much, layman's terms. All right, and his ability, active ability, barbed wire grenade, he creates a field of barbed wire that slows enemies. Okay, got it? Cool. Let's talk about their loadouts. Vi. Vi has the Nightshade, right? The Nightshade AR. It's amazing mid-range, right? Mid-range, you can outgun SMGs. In close range, you can outgun ARs. It's like that perfect hybrid, okay? She also has the S12 Tactical Shotgun. Again, Tactical Shoddy, more of a semi-auto rapid-fire shotgun. She has the Executioner Pistol, regular pistol by default, no need to explain. She has a Katana, Tear Grass Grenade, I almost said Tear Grass, I think I did. Tear Gas Grenade, okay, disorients enemies. And then she has the Incendiary Grenade, which inflicts 10 damage per half second or something like that on an enemy that's standing in the pool of fire. Go over to Trench. Trench, rocking out with the HRM30KS, right? Let's just call it the HRM, because that's a freaking mouthful, all right? AR that is great at long range fights, right? Pretty decent at mid range fights as well as you land those crits. He has the MXR DMR, again, long range, pretty nasty. Mid range, it can hold his own, okay? Close range, nah, 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 you okay? He has the Executioner pistol as well, just like Vibe, okay? Baseball bat, you guys know melee weapons. Tear gas grenade, again, disorients enemies, and then he has the active protection system. I don't know why they just didn't call it the trophy system. I mean, that would just make so much more sense, which whenever you throw a grenade in this proximity of the trophy system, boop, disappears, okay? And lastly, let's talk about their perks real quick, okay? Vi has evade, right? When she's damaged, her movement speed is increased for a short duration. She has cloaked, she's immune by being revealed by enemies, which has since been drastically nerfed. Let's pretend cloak doesn't even exist anymore. She has tenacity, she takes reduced damage from explosives that is actually being swapped out for a bounce back, okay, which reduces the health regen delay. She has helping hand, where she can rest teammates faster, track arounds, damaging an enemy, allows them to show up on everybody's screen for a period of time, and then replenish, which whenever she downs an enemy, her equipped weapon restores ammo. Jumping over to Trench. Trench has Berserker, right? He can reload while sprinting. Shredder rounds, which is where you deal more damage to equipment and carry more ammo. 
tenacity so he takes reduced damage from explosives bounce back he reduces his health regen delay headstrong he gains 25 additional armor and then tracker rounds again like i mentioned with vi damage an enemy boom they pop up on everybody's screen for a period of time now that that's out the way let's talk about their specialties okay and they both specialize in the same thing which is area control okay so vi vi has area control in the form of her vile poison her vile poison what the heck her vile poison okay again drops those poison pools can block off a lane right stop an enemy from pushing or make them second guess the push anything of that nature she has a tear gas grenade which disorients enemies again you're in that tear gas grenade and your screen is kind of doing this and you lose your reticule and then she has the incendiary grenade that actually lays damage as long as you're in that fire unless you're scorch or if you're dahlia linked to scorch okay fun little combo by the way so she has three means of area control trench has his barbed wire right Pew, drop that barbed wire so annoying to walk through because it slows you down makes noise things of that nature and he also has his tear gas grenade again you can disorient enemies okay I guess you can kind of say his trophy system as well because you can put it around a corner and the opposition, their grenades and things don't work, right? They don't work because the trophy system negates that. But let's just say we're talking things that actually cover an extended area, okay? Things that are like actually a physical thing that covers the area, okay? Who wins in this category? Who wins when it comes to area control? Now, I know a lot of the consensus might give me blowback on this, but I say Vi wins, okay? I say Vi wins when it comes to area control, and let me explain, right? She can secure lanes. Again, the incendiary, tear gas. I can't talk today, guys. Bear with me. The incendiary, tear gas, and her poison, okay? So she can secure lanes. She can also secure bomb sites, right? So if somebody goes for a disarm or somebody pushes bomb, she can drop her poison, right? And that's laying damage on somebody. So like, let's say somebody's weak and they get to the bomb or they are at half damage and they get to the bomb, right? And they start to disarm. You can throw an incendiary on them. It'll get them right off the bomb, right? Or they're going to die trying to defuse. You can throw your poison on them, right? The poison is another good option because you're taking away their health. You're increasing your health. So by the time you get to that person, maybe they're one shot or maybe they're half health, lay a few bullets on them, you get the knock. Or you might push them off the bomb in an entirety, okay? The only thing that does not really push them off the bomb is the tear gas grenade. They're going to be disoriented, right? But they're still going to continue the defuse at that point in time, right? And my dog just barked. You guys <laughs> heard my little homie, Louie. And guys, although Trench's barbed wire can last the entire round, which is great, that's fantastic, right? and all of Vi's assets are temporary, it does not apply damage. And I think that's the thing that kind of sucks the most. And it can be broken up, right? Whenever you melee it, you can break it up, right? So that alone makes the barbed wire a little less efficient versus what Vi has readily available. You know what I'm saying? Now, a great buff to Trench would be if his barbed wire would tick away at your health you know maybe not as rapidly as vi's poison but like what if it chipped away at two health you know every second that you're in the barbed wire because it is barbed wire right in real life if you are touching barbed wire that hurts right it hurts like and you might not think of it as much because you know like it's like little stings here and there but make that representative is that a word we're gonna roll with it make that representative in game if trenches barbed wire laid down just a little bit of damage per second i think it would be a lot more useful than it currently is moving on here let's talk about their versatility slash playmaking ability all right let's start with vi vi is what i would consider to be a jack of all trades but yet she is a master of none okay she's incredible and it's sometimes to a fault right she doesn't do one thing perfect but she does multiple things well including getting multi-kills if you guys have not seen vi in action you guys know i have 20 vi videos on my channel check anyone out and you'll see me do some crazy stuff that i honestly have no business doing because look i'm not the best player in the world by any means but because i'm rocking vi I can do a lot of incredible things and I have clutched up on numerous occasions. I'm not just talking 1v1s, I'm talking 1v2s, 1v3s, and even 1v4s I've clutched up with Vi because of her kit, the incendiary grenade. 
the poison, you know, so I'm getting health. I'm taking away their permanent health, right? Incendiaries pushing people out of cover, laying damage, right? Tear gas grenades disorients people as they try to push me. You know, whenever you marry that, when you marry all of those things, Vi is a force to be reckoned with, okay? Now let's talk about Trench a little bit on the flip side, his versatility and his playmaking ability. There isn't much, there isn't much at all. In the hands of a skilled player, Trench can be fantastic. I will openly admit that. In the hands of a skilled player, if you're a novice, Trench ain't gonna do it for you. He's not, he's not, right? Trench is meant to be utilized as more of a defender because I mean, that's really what he is, right? And he's a bit one-dimensional in that regard. You don't see a trench clutch up a 1v3 or a 1v4, again, unless he's in the hands of a skilled player, right? So with that being said, Vi wins when it comes to versatility and when it comes to playmaking ability, right? Because she can get busy and close in mid-range. As you guys know, in Rogue Company, I would say 75 to 80% of the fights are taken in close to mid-range, right? And that's why controller players are dominant in the game because there aren't many opportunities with the exception of Vice, right? The midpoint in Vice, uh, I'm trying to think Lockdown, right? When we're talking the midpoint in Lock, in Log, what the heck, in Lockdown. And when we're talking maybe midpoint in Skyfail, kinda. But beyond that, long range fights don't really happen. They don't really happen at all. So again, Vi, close to mid range, she gets the W over Trench any day of the week, right? Her multi-kill potential is through the roof, as I just mentioned before, right? Especially because she has replenish. You know, she can get a knock and keep shooting for days, right? She has her AOE gadgets, right? The tear gas, poison, incendiary. You know, she can handle business overall. She takes care of business overall. You know, Trench would beat her out any day of the week when it comes to long range fights. Any day of the week, Trench would clap her. DMR, AR, good night. But the problem is Trench can't handle those close to mid-range fights. He can if he has a leg up on the opposing enemy or if he catches an opposing player off guard, anything of that nature. But a lot of times when you are in high competitive play, people's situational awareness is much larger than it would be in a casual public game. So again, Trench loses in that category. Vi is the winner. So with everything being said, ladies and gentlemen, key takeaways here, okay, key takeaways. I don't want to come out outright and say everybody should be playing Vi because everybody should not be playing Vi, okay? The people that should be playing Vi are the people that are the initiators. They aren't afraid to get down and dirty. They aren't afraid to take control of the game. They aren't afraid to clutch up a 1v2, 1v3, 1v4 situation. People of that caliber, right? People that know for a fact they have the confidence, the it factor, the accuracy, all that, right? Those are the people that should be rocking out with Vi because her kit allows them to do what they do best. And that's make plays, that's take command, and that's get to work. Now, if you're rocking out with Trench, again, I'm not trying to dog Trench. This is not a dog Trench video, but I'm just trying to be honest from my own perspective. And if you guys feel different, let me know down in the comments below. But for Trench to be properly utilized, you know, if you're somebody that plays a bit more passive, you know, you know you aren't gonna be top frag. You know you don't do good in those 1v3, 1v4 situations, you know? You know for a fact you do better helping somebody, you know? Lancer comes around the flank and gets two people weak and you come around behind her with the, as the cleanup crew, right? You know you function better like that. Trench is probably for you then, you know? You wanna secure a site and try to hold it down until your teammates come to reinforce you, you know? Trench might be up your alley then. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, Vi versus Trench. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Who do you guys prefer more? I know everybody has their own preference. Do you guys prefer Vi more or do you guys prefer Trench more? I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you guys like these kind of videos as well, these versus videos, because if you guys don't, I'll go ahead and nip them in the bud right now. But if you guys do, I will keep them going. Because again, I'm just trying to shed some perspective on things. It's been your boy Cray. I'm signing off. I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, we are out.